What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and this is episode two in a series called Rework where I take your submitted design files and I rework them. The goal of the series is to offer some constructive feedback as well as give you some insights into what I'm thinking while I'm designing and hopefully we can improve the project by making some simple changes while sticking to the heart or the core of the actual design itself. Not completely changing it, but you know, tweaking it. All right, we're diving right in, and now we're gonna go to a bank app. And you know what I really like? I appreciate that right off the bat, I can see that this designer was using layouts uh, to try to keep his design, you know, in good shape throughout all of it. So, big fan of that. Okay, but this bank app has some issues, okay? It's got a couple screens. Let's just take a look at the couple screens and comment on a few things. I think we've looked at it enough profile, so let's kind of get away from the profiles and pay more attention to the meat of the application, which would be like this wallet or the transactional log kind of thing. Number one, everything's a little bit cramped. Uh, you can see right in here, like there's just not enough space. Number two, these, I'm not sure what these are supposed to be. If these are supposed to be titles for the sections you're in, because they look like giant buttons and things that are buttons should look like buttons, but things that aren't buttons should not look like buttons. So I, I think we're definitely gonna work with that. Um, also, you know, again with the space thing, but these separating lines, really unnecessary. They could, they're a nice thing, especially if you're looking at a lot of information, dry information, like numbers and text with no photos then you can introduce the lines. But just, you know, we're gonna give them a little bit more space. This also introduces the idea of line items, but then sections, right? So we have not only what was happening in June, but then we have a new section of May. That should have its own kind of space. There sh it should be really easy to understand sections between each other. Um, okay, and then again, back over here, I'm not sure if they're all supposed to be buttons, but that's what it looks like to me. What's interesting is that all of these look like buttons. I'm guessing this is the main navigation down here. These do not look like buttons. They just look like random sets of icons. Hard to, and it doesn't look like that standard, you know, tab bar navigation thing. So I really like this movements. I'm gonna make a new artboard, a fresh artboard to work off of. And let's start with the bottom navigation thing. Okay, so we can do that. Um, really, really simply, we draw a line, uh, excuse me, draw a rectangle, and let's, let's get some of these icons in here. I'm gonna take the background and the word movements. I'm gonna bring them over and paste them in. So I don't think you need such a large uh, header. I don't think you do, but if you want it up there, that's fine. I'm gonna change this to transactions. Um, so we can put that right in the middle. It's a little bit on the basic side, but I'm, I'm down with it. Like, um, it's nice. And maybe we wanna just put this, like we wanna line it up like left. I don't know, and that's maybe like a little bit large, I think, for the space. So let's just come down. So it, it seems a little less, I don't wanna say comical, but like it seems a little bit more serious, right? Now, what we're really talking about is separating sections, June and May, as well as each individual transaction inside of those. So you can see, we want to be able to see the difference between money coming in and money going out, money spent, money gained kind of thing, right? And that's what you're trying to do with this green and red kind of iconography, I get that. So let's just start with a few of the elements, okay? Let's bring this in, uh -huh. and boom, let's paste that, okay? So let's start with kind of a heading of June 2019, okay, that's all right. And then um, we don't want you to focus on the headings though as much, so let's, let's knock those headings back a little bit to more of a gray. So now we know that those aren't the main stuff. What's the main like meat of the content? Well, obviously it's the like transaction amount and the date. Those are the bigger kind of elements. And so why don't we try, I mean, we're gonna do a couple of like really basic things here, but why don't we try just duplicating the same type of typography down here and doing 234. And then taking our handy dandy uh, arrow and let's, Let's set a style here. So let's do this and then let's take our green arrow. I don't think we need that large circle around it, do we? I don't think so. 
Um, and let's do June 20th. Uh, and then down below, maybe we just go slightly smaller. And maybe this is where we would do like regular. Um, the date and the amount are there. And we have our little icon on the right. We're gonna group these together. And by grouping them together, we can then grab this other one and line it up. Okay, this now, now becomes the, the question, right? Do you want to put a line in between or do you not want to put a line in between? Okay, let's, let's try it both ways. So a little trick I like to do is just take my rectangle tool. I like to draw a rectangle. I like to remove the, uh, the border and I like to move it behind like my details, okay? But then I can choose whether or not, because what, what we need to do is align all these, okay? So that's aligned. And then what we can do is we can choose whether or not we want this rectangle here to have some sort of shadow. It could be a shadow. It doesn't have to have a blur. So we can turn that shadow actually more into like a bottom line, right? Okay, cool. And then we can even subdue how, like how obvious that, that line is. Okay, so now let's take all of our elements. We group it together. We repeat grid in Adobe XD. Whoops, watch out, and we just drag it down. Now, the, now, because the rectangle is the same size, we should be able to just butt them up against each other. We don't need any sort of space, and that makes it a really, really easy thing to do. Now we can just come in and change the individual elements. Like, like why don't we, oh, look at that. Um, it changes one, it changes all of them, okay? So maybe that's not what we want. Maybe we want to ungroup this grid now that we've made them all. And we're gonna turn that around, and we can turn that to red. See what I'm saying? So now like, yes, in this, in this like uh, version, we kept the line, but we just mitigated it a little bit. We just chilled it out a little bit, you know? And we kept the arrows, but we just, we chilled it out a little bit. So here's what we have, like difference wise, right? Um, we are being a little bit more mindful of the real estate in the header. We're making things that are like that are just headlines, just look like headlines. They don't need to look like buttons. We created some hierarchy uh, between um, like our sections. Also, actually, we didn't we didn't fix our sections. So what we should do is we should go like this and do another section. Uh, and what is that? Twelve away. Good. We want it to be the same thing here. So 10, 11, 12. Let's go June. Let's go July, like that. So now we have this whole thing as a section, and we have this thing as a section. Boom, and we can decide maybe that's a little too far, boom, boom, like that, and we're gonna go back down to 60. But you can see that now there's some spacing in between individual sections, like here, and there's also a much simpler, much simpler, like uh, money going in, money coming out, basic details, what was the date, what was the amount, and some sort of iconography on the right hand side to give you an at a glance kind of understanding. These, we don't have to have these huge heavy lines. We don't have to have any of that. It's all just very simple and clean. It let's everything breathe. I think it's a little bit better. Definitely more work could be done to this uh, to really improve it. But I think that shrinking things down within, within means or within reason um, clearing things up, creating hierarchy and distinction between elements, creating really consistent patterns, like something that's really easy to scan and view, um, like our line items here. That's what it's all about. It's just stripping down, simplifying. So good work, just needs that little bit of work to take it to the next level and, and, and I think kind of like streamline things. So, well, that's it. That's part two of the rework series in the bag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much to the designers who submitted their work. I really, really appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun to rework your creations. If you'd like to get your designs reworked on this channel, you can find a link and some instructions down in the description underneath this video. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments. And if you haven't already, make sure you give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and design walkthroughs just like this one. So maybe stick around. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things. Hope you're making amazing things. And I hope you're reworking things until you like them. I'll see you in the next one.